Escargo the Python delivered an excellent performance for the camera last episode. She almost seemed to be intentionally showing off her cranial kinesis and gravity-enhanced peristalsis moves for us. So we decided to give her a special treat this time. Three mice at once! Our reasoning is, we want her to experience a sense of agency by getting to select her meal instead of the usual routine in which she simply eats one boring mouse that we provide for her. We think that a snake's brain releases dopamine to experience a sense of euphoria, just like humans do when we feel that we have agency over our own living or eating conditions. We're pretty sure reptiles have dopamine because reptiles evolved from amphibians about 320 million years ago, and we know that amphibian brains have a working dopaminergic mesolimbic reward circuit similar to ours. So let's observe some behavior and hypothesize about the underlying processes. First, we'll place escargot, our show-off nine-month-old female African ball python, in the maze. Next, we'll place three fancy mice in this upper right corner and release the door. Even though the maze is simple, and the mice seem inclined to explore their entire environment, all three of them stay in the non-snake areas of the maze. With three moving around this much, you'd think that at least one would make it into the snake's lair pretty soon. Here the three of them almost seem to be conferring with each other, as if to say, don't go into that southern area of the maze. Is it possible that they perceive the snake's presence, have a sense that it's something dangerous, and are intentionally staying away. But eventually, one of them makes it to Escargot. He walks right up to her side without fear. Luckily for him, she was facing the other direction and not ready to strike him. So this mouse number one leaves the area and mixes himself up with the other two mice. Keeping your eye on mouse number one is kind of like that old magic trick with the three cups and the ball. Not easy to do. Escargot is clearly getting herself in position for the next mouse to come knocking. Will it be mouse number one again? Or one of his brethren? It turned out to be a different mouse. Mouse number two had no fear of snakes either and walked gingerly to his death. But mouse number one saw it happen and he booked his way out of there. That looks like a mouse who learned something. Perhaps now he understands that snakes are dangerous based on what he just saw happen. We'll give him a chance to show off his new knowledge next episode. Meanwhile, in the southern end of the maze, there is a snake with a dopamine rush. Here's some new behavior. The mice may have disappointed us, but the snake is not going to. Instead of immediately opening wide and beginning cranial kinesis to swallow the mouse, Escargot appears to temporarily leave her captured prize by her side. She looks away, her attention elsewhere. She must be behaving this way because she senses the other two mice in the maze. That's the only new variable. Astoundingly, she is revisited by mouse number one, who apparently wanted a refresher in the lesson he just learned.
She tries to focus her attention on her proverbial bird in the hand. But how can anyone really focus on eating one mouse when there's another one walking around? Now we've removed the other two mice from the maze off camera, including our knowledgeable mouse number one. Sure enough, left in peace, Escargot finds her angle of approach and begins another command performance of swallowing something bigger than her head. She's really, really good at this. Kind of a cranial kinesis virtuoso. Once again, we'll speed this up for your viewing pleasure. Feeling good from that meal, she decides to explore the maze in a way that the mice could not, by climbing right over the walls. Next episode, we'll put mouse number one, who got to witness his brother being killed, into the maze with fromage and see if he shows any aptitude for running the opposite direction, or at least refraining from walking right up to him. <laughs>